Have you ever noticed that God is never late? He's also never early. He's right on time. And that's what Nicole needed. She needed God to show up just in the nick of time. Nicole's health was getting worse and worse. She was getting more and more fatigued, and the jaundice from the rare liver ailment was starting to show in her face. The doctors told her that she had to have a liver transplant, but the donor requirements were arduous. She needed to have someone who had the same blood type, the same size liver, and they needed to be emotionally connected. Every single candidate that the doctors interviewed was disqualified. Well, Nicole's spirits were sagging when she got that invitation to go to a NASCAR event. It was about 900 miles from home, and there were 125,000 people in the stadium. All that noise, all the engines revving, it was lifting her spirits. And that's what she said to a young man who was seated next to her. Well, pretty soon they started chatting, and they introduced each other. And his name was Jess, and he said, I know you. I ride with your mother in a carpool to work every day. Wow, what are the odds of that? 900 miles from home and 125,000 people in the stadium? Well, they started chatting and they continued that chatting when they got back home. And they started dating. And then after a while, Jess asked Nicole to marry him. Just before the wedding, the doctors delivered very tragic news. They said, Nicole, without a transplant, we don't think that you will be able to live more than six months. Jess said, how about testing me? And so they did. And then, unbelievably, he had the right blood type. He had the same size liver. And because they were about to be married, they were emotionally connected. All of those odds were defied. Well, the wedding took place, and instead of going on a honeymoon, they checked into the hospital. And it was about eight hours later that the doctors reported that both patients, husband and wife, were doing just fine. What an unbelievable series of God winks. What are the odds? Think about that. What are the odds? 900 miles away from home, 125,000 people, and they're sitting beside each other. And then once they decide to get married, his liver is the right size, everything lines up, the blood type, everything. What are the odds? God can do that. That's called a God wink. He does it all through scripture. When Jesus was on this earth, a man ran up to him and said, Lord, please come and heal my daughter. She, she's about to die. And so Jesus said, yeah, I'll go. And so he's going with the man. And while he's walking with this man to pray for his daughter, to heal his daughter, he's walking through this crowd. People are pressing in. They're touching him from every side and a woman who has a bleeding disorder, who sh she's gone to the doctors. The Bible says she spent everything she had. She wasn't better, she was actually worse. She comes up to him in the crowd. She thinks if I can just touch just his robe, just the, the bottom part of his robe, just the hem of his garment, one version says, then I'll be healed. And she barely touches his robe and she's healed immediately. But this is what Jesus does. He turns around and says, who touched me? Who touched me? And the disciples said, Lord, there, there's a multitude around you. A, a lot of people are touching you. He said, no, somebody touched me. And this woman came forward and, so, and said, I touched you. Now, why did Jesus do that? He wasn't trying to embarrass her. He was allowing her to testify to a God wink. In both of these situations, and in Nicole's situation, it was impossible. 
Are you facing something impossible right now? If it's impossible for us, remember, it's possible for God. God wants to touch you right now, no matter the odds.